and we're back baby here we go it is tuesday aka my monday let's see what we got here we go <music> very first work order is we need a bath mat and we need to caulk a bathtub let's go see what's going on just like i was saying before we're gonna uh replace the bath mat here because this one is literally coming out as you can see so that's no good and it's wet underneath so if you don't replace it quick it could cause mold and then the problem will get worse all right and also we're gonna do the caulk around the bathtub. Now this one right there has that uh, divider or whatever you wanna call it, but we're gonna caulk the edges of that too. That way it could be perfect. All right, let's get started. All right, so for starters, we're gonna take the old mat off. Now remember, these should just peel and stick. So it might take you a little while. Just like I said, it has mold. It's not good. It's not good, and I'm gonna show you in a minute. It actually smells too. So we'll take this out. Yeah, it has mold. Wow. It's been like that for a while, man. Nobody reported it. <clears throat> Take your time with it. That's all you can do. Mm, that mold stinks, man. All right, I'm gonna keep, uh, as you can see. As you can see, let me just focus on. Has mold. So, this is the reason why I don't like bath mats. Because once they get loose, the water goes underneath and if you don't change it out right away, that happens right there. And it has a funky odor to it, trust me. All right, so what we're gonna do now, before we put the new bath mat, because I have it right here, we're gonna clean this out real nice with alcohol. All right, let's go get that. Just to be honest with you guys, I can't use bleach because I'm highly allergic to it, but we're gonna try it denatured alcohol for that right there and for over here we're just going to give it a nice cleaning um we're not allowed to carry bleach only housekeeping only the housekeeping manager because due to the fumes and all that so nobody could use bleach in the hotel but i do have denatured alcohol and not to mention that i'm allergic to it too trust me always wear gloves for this type of job here i know i didn't wear gloves when i was taking the mat out but I did grab it from the edges, but um, I should have worn gloves. Anyway, denatured alcohol, we're gonna try to get that out of there. Let's see. All right, I'll put some denatured alcohol on top. Uh, let's see if it comes out. Yep, it's coming out. You see this little hole there? You see how it's gushing out water? I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Okay, you can see there's a hole in the liner here in the bathtub. Reason being is because whoever installed this liner didn't do it right because they didn't, uh, they didn't tighten it right over here. So water gets in through here and inside the liner. So what we do is we make a, a tiny little hole here in this case, this is a big hole. Somebody just went overboard. What I do is just make a little tiny hole. This one's way too big. That's why I created mold around it. Well, anyway, so this is just to get rid of the water. As you can see, what we do is just create pressure going down. As you can see that way, all the water can come out. So this little job became a little more difficult, ladies and gentlemen, because now I gotta drain all that water and then seal that, wait till it dries and then put the bath mat in. So this room might be out of order today. Yep. 
So let's see what happens. But as you can see, we just have to build a, a little drain hole because if we go in through there, we uh we can mess up the liner for good. So that's why we put a little drain hole. But whoever did this hole is way too big. They went. They carried. They got carried away with that hole there. Anyway, let's see what we could do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this shot back. We're gonna put pressure there, and I just step on this end here, and that'll speed up the process of sucking all the water from inside the liner. So I'm gonna go get the shot back, put it there on the hole, suck as much water as we can, because one thing that I hate, ladies and gentlemen, one of many things is an unfinished project, and I'm gonna to try to finish this one today. I don't like to put rooms out of order. All right, let's go try that trick. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, before uh, we drain that out, because it has a lot of water in, in that hole there, we're gonna do the, the caulk first. Reason being, because I have to take out all the old caulk and put a new one, and it's gonna make a mess. So once we do the old caulk and we clean everything up nicely, then we'll do the, the shop vac trick to get all the water from inside the liner there. All right, let's go. We removed all the old caulk. And just like I said, you see the mess that it makes? So now we'll go, we'll clean all this up real nice. We'll put the new caulk in. Of course, before we put the new caulk in, we gotta clean it real nice so we could get rid of all the debris. But this is one of my pet peeves, guys. See this? This is layers upon layers upon layers of caulk this was this what happens if you leave the old caulk and you put the new caulk in you're gonna get mold and now whoever's doing the the new caulk is gonna have a hard time because now this is buried in there so now you gotta dig in there and get it out just like i did with that piece there i'm sure there's more but i'm not gonna be reaching in there all day long all right, so if it comes out, it comes out. If not, I can't help it. All right, let's clean it up real nice. And we'll put the new caulk and we'll continue. Nice and squeaky clean all around. Of course, like my other videos, you know that I cleaned it with the, with the denatured alcohol here and get all that old caulk out and debris as much as we could. So now, all these things there are from the from the bath mat, then when you rip it out, you know, chunks of it come out. But uh, I'm not worrying about that because the bath mat will cover it real nice. What I'm worrying about is this. See that? No good. So we're gonna try to do it with the shop vac, but before we do it, let me just caulk this real quick and then we work on that. So we got ourselves a new caulk here. And uh, I know that these type of guns, see, they come with their own cutting. All you gotta do is squeeze it down and it cuts it. But I like to cut mine on a nice little angle here. I know you could do it here too, but I have I like to have the knife, it's more control. What I do is I start out real small. Just cut it real tiny first in an angle, like so. You see, now it's nice and angled. Cut a little bit more off, just a tiny hair. I like doing it like this instead of in the back of the machine here because I have more control, okay? So once you have it in a nice little angle, all right, take it out. Get the old little metal stick and you just clear the clock inside. Okay, that's it, put it back. And let's get ready. And let's get ready to caulk the, the bathtub. So I do, I'll give it a nice little test before anything. There we go. It's coming out real nice. All right, just finished caulking. It looks fantastic. All right, so what we're gonna do now, try to clean as much as we can of that residue. And then we're gonna fix that hole there with the with the water. Look, if I step on it, look at this. See what I'm saying? So we're gonna use the shop vac to 
to get that going. like we're getting there so what you want to do is just keep repeating that process until once you squeeze in it you get no more water and then you let it dry okay all right let's step on it and see what we got as you can see nothing else is coming out so that's a good sign all right so now we're gonna let it dry we're gonna clean this as much as we can this little residue of water we got and we're gonna leave it dry for a little while. And then we come back, we'll seal it, wait till that dries, and then we'll put the bath mat. So it's been like about 45 minutes or so, and it just came back up, just check on it. And the we'll pressure, <clears throat> no more water coming up. So that's good. So we're gonna use this type of caulk here premium kitchen and bath adhesive sealant so we could uh cover this hole here okay let's see so what you do is just go in there and just fill the hole up just fill it up as much as you could beautiful okay and now just gonna smooth it out just smooth it out that's so what we're gonna do. And then we're just gonna wait. Smooth it out real nice. Make sure it's all make sure the sealant is all the way to the tippy top. Flush with the with the liner there. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna clean out the excess around it. And we're gonna let it dry for another half an hour or so because this thing dries pretty quick okay so we're coming back here let's rub it that's nice and dry so now we're gonna put the new bath mat in so make sure guys you see that that's all peeled from the old um bath mat all right so we're gonna put the new one now and she's gonna look beautiful all right but once I put the bath mat, I'm gonna keep it um, out of uh, service just for overnight. So it could dry really, really good with the bath mat on top. And of course, cause the cork has to dry as well. And this cork here takes a little while to dry. So just to play safe, we're gonna um, leave it overnight and that's it. And tomorrow they could bring it back. Here we go. So we're ready to put our brand new math bath mat as you can see so these are the peeling stick it's like a big sticker now everybody has a method me i like to take the the back out of it completely to start off with everything's off the back sticker so now it's just a big sticker so i just line it up with the old one with the lines of the old one I know it's not the best angle, but I'm gonna make it work. Okay. The hardest part of putting this is the beginning. You don't want no bubbles. You don't want none of that. And then you just make your way over. You could use a squeegee if you want, but I've been doing this for a while now, so I'm already used to it. And the reason why I use it, I take the whole paper out, is because it gives me more leverage and it's not going to be in my way like i said i've been doing this for a while now so i already know what i'm doing if you want to keep the paper and just go little by little you can that's your preference but once you do it multiple times it becomes easier and easier and easier all right as you can see the name of the game is not to have bubbles you don't want to have bubbles all right the moment you feel something just lift, lift it back up and take it out but we're doing good here we're doing real good all right we're in the last stretch here that's that 
beautiful. Always make sure that it's nice and dry, that it's nice and clean from debris. Okay, and that's it. And I'm gonna show you the, the result right now. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, looking good. Brand new caulk, brand new bath mat, doesn't have no mold. We're ready to rock and roll. And of course, the main project here was to take all that water out of inside the liner there. And we did it, and of course, we seal that hole. On to the next. All right, guys, our next work order is, that's right, another shampoo. But I'm not gonna show you that, okay? I just wanna take this time out real quick and say, um, if you guys saw the video yesterday, Friday the 13th, um, in Blairstown, New Jersey, thank you for watching it. And if you haven't, pause this video right now and go check that video because you're gonna love it. If you are a fan of horror movies or, or movies in general, check that video out because Blairstown, New Jersey, was the uh the location where they filmed the original friday the 13th and we had the privilege of go check that out also i want to i want to send a big shout out to my wife because she doesn't like the cold at all she hates the cold but she still went out with me and and we did this video so big shout out to to my wife all right so let's go shampoo this rug right now and Let's see what else the day brings. We'll, ca we'll catch up with Joe later on, too. He's here. Let's see what he's up to. Here we go. What's up, Joe? Not much. We, th we got yeah, a lot accomplished or what? I don't know. Cleaned up the shop a little bit today. You did good. You did good. You did real good. We did all the service shit that we needed to do. Yeah. A couple of short. The day got away with a, the, the, the day got away from us, guys. <sighs> Meaning the video-wise. But we got a lot accomplished. But like I, I showed you before, how to clean out uh, a liner from a bathtub. How to empty that out. And you guys wanted to see Joe. Here you go. Joe is here. Oh my God. Grumpier than ever. I can't take this anymore. I need light bulbs that never blow. Yeah, we right now we're on light bulb duty. Not much today. Not much today to show, guys. But oh, this, this floor again, too bad. Now this this floor is good. No, no, this floor is good. But again, guys, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and of course tell a friend to tell a friend about the Zuma vlogs. This radio won't shut up. Uh -huh. Anything wild. you want to say, Joe? Cheers. Big ears. Here we go. All right. Big ears with some cheers. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Better day tomorrow. Mañana. Peace. Mañana. 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 Hey, we're off. You got to bake all that noise? Hell yeah. People don't know I'm here. They're not going to know I'm doing something. People are trying to sleep. How many bowls we got? Okay. Mm -hmm. Not to do this floor, maybe the first floor. All right, guys. It's light bulb duty time. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.